it was a special day on Soto. The engines were excited because today the train show was in town and everyone wanted to collect the judge. Duck and Gordon were at the big station. I wonder who will take the judge to the train show, said Duck. Just then, Edward pulled up. Well, for one thing, said Gordon, Sir Topman Hat won't choose Dirty Edward. Don't call me Dirty Edward, he wished angrily, and he wished away. Thomas pulled up next to Duck. Hello, Duck, he said. Hello, Thomas, said Duck. Then Sir Topman Hat had an important task to one of the engines. Duck, I am choosing you to collect the judge from the docks, he said. Make sure to be squeaky clean. Yes, sir, said Duck. This job seems important. I'm surprised Sir Topman Hat didn't choose an important engine like me, said Gordon. Duck knows he will do a fine job on collecting the judge, so he set off to be clean. Come on, Gordon, said Edward. I need to be clean. Well, maybe if you weren't so slow, began Gordon, you wouldn't have got here on time. Just then, Duck pulled up. Gordon, can I go next after you? He asked. Sure, said Gordon. You can go next. Edward was angrier still. Duck was almost finished being clean when suddenly he heard a noise. What was that? said Duck. The workman inspected the sound and tried to get rid of it. This should take care of the sweep, said the driver. When Duck was rolling along the line, the sweep was back. It continued all the way to the docks. Duck arrived at the docks where the judge was waiting. Duck came to a stop. Then there was trouble. When the judge opened the door, she saw a mouse was inside the coach. Eek! She cried. Duck felt terrible. He didn't feel important anymore. Just then, Edward pulled up. Edward? Will you take the judge to the show for me? Duck asked. I would be delighted, said Edward. Duck was unattached from his coach and he went away. Edward's driver took the mouse out of the coach and inside Edward's cab, and the judge climbed on board. And they set off. It would arrive at the train show, and the train show began. Here comes the judge, said James. But what will she have to say, said Henry. Congratulations, Edward, said the judge. You are the winner of the train show. Everyone cheered. And Edward was so happy, he felt important for taking the judge to the train show.